Today, we're going to talk about parallel universe and time travel. Welcome to the mountain of life, home to the spiritual incline. Our question came today from uh, Tricia. She asked me, she said, what do you think about parallel universes and time travel? Oh, that was a tough question, Tricia. I had to submit it to Holy Spirit and wait on him to answer me. And uh, eventually he did answer. And we're going to jump right in. Holy Spirit gave me Job chapter 33, verses 29 to 30. Behold, God works all these things twice, in fact, three times, with a man to bring back his soul from the pit, that he may be enlightened with the light of life. This is different and got nothing to do with reincarnation. It's completely different. It's not reincarnation. I'm not talking about reincarnation. This is God, out of his grace and mercy, allowing a soul to be born again for the sole purpose to allow him to make Jesus Christ his, his Lord and Savior. Now, Holy Spirit can decide to bring in memory whatever past life that soul went through. And parallel universes is not really parallel universes, but more like past lives of that soul. Because that soul got to live in past lives as different, in different bodies and in different lives. And all those past lives line up all the way to present is to help them make or take better decision to get closer to God. So it's not about parallel universe, it's more like past lives that the soul lived before the present time. And now we can move it on to uh, time travel. When it came to time travel, Holy Spirit sent me to Revelation chapter 12, verses 7 to 9. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought, but they did not prevail nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And then down in the same chapter, in verse 12, it reads, Therefore rejoice, O heaven, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, and the sea, for the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knows that he has a short time. Here, Holy Spirit told me this. He said, notice how the devil, when he got cast out of heaven and came down to earth, he got cast from a state of being, a being with our time into a state where he was bound to time. Because when he got cast down to earth, all of a sudden, his time became short. So he got bound to time. He got cast out of that state in heaven where he could access time, where time did not matter, into a state where he got bound to it. Just like us, we are bound to time. And in order to time travel, you have to leap out of time, when God created time, God made sure that he set guardians over time. So nobody without permission can access or disrupt the course of things in time. The devil has been deceiving man for centuries to try to get him to travel through time because that's what he wants. He, he wants to be able to travel through time and look into time because he does not have access to it anymore. But the truth of the matter is only God can give that permission to any being to travel through time. So that's my position on time travel. 
It's not impossible. It is possible. But unless you come from heaven or you are in heaven, and unless you have the permission of God, it is something that is impossible to achieve. That concludes our topic for the day. And I hope, Patricia, that I answer your question properly. And uh, if you have any question or any comment, any feedbacks, you can leave them in the comment box. I would love to read them. And until next time, I'm Pastor Dijon. If you're new to our channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to it. Turn on your notifications so you don't get to miss out on future exciting videos. And until next time, thank you for your support. Thank you for your time. God bless you and God keep you.